guys, this is Shamus here being revealed. Today we're doing Where's Deku had the Black Light Virus. So let's get started. So we're starting off as Deku is mostly, well, quirkless in this timeline. He does not get All Might's quirk. Don't worry, Baku is going to get that. I wish, I just wish one thing only. I wish they gave it to Chaku. Because imagine when she uses All Might's quirk. Her boobs would immediately thrust in the air a little bit and then go back down and then jiggle. Sorry, that's my inner pervert speaking. Bad Marvin, you're getting slapped. <laughs> you bully me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You you bully me. <laughs> but yeah, by the way, guys, if you guys don't know what hus fucky is, please search up yourself. Let's get this, continue on. So, well, there was this virus going around. And, well, everybody was getting cured. It's like the Mostly, if I had to say, did not get my video taken down or my channel taken down. Mostly, it was like the coronavirus. Fuck you, YouTube. You can take down my channel, but you can't take down my freedom of speech. You're technically taking down our freedom of speech. I could sue you for that. And that's technically is true. I could technically sue you. So, take down our content creator's channel. And we'll be, like, saving these. And then waiting up till like, um, YouTube implodes on itself. And then we'll sue you. So, like, go the fucking hell. So, yeah. So, well, everyone got cured for the virus, though. It was like this little small virus. But there was only one person that did not get the virus. Mostly one person that still has it. Mostly off one's daughter. She is the virus. And the virus evolved, though, into the Black Lake virus. They mostly called it that. So, well, yeah, let's get to where the end of the school year. Mostly where Bakugo is still making fun of Deku, but not like in the canon. He's making fun of Deku more and more. Mostly he's been like punching Deku and stuff, so they actually had to get... Mostly he's not a restraining order, but mostly it's like, um... The principal said that they're stuck in the exact same class, but mostly Bakugo, if he messes one more time, we will have to expel him. So Bakugo's not gonna say anything though, because he knows that if he says any more shit, he will get expelled. And it's, it didn't really go high up to command on stuff, so yeah. So, well, technically Bakugo can't make fun of him, but he can just, like, say some shit about him. And, well, technically Bakugo can talk shit about him, as long as he's not by Deku, then he can't get in trouble. So, yeah. So, well, the teacher comes in while the paper and say that, huh, it seems like mostly Bakugo and Deku want to go to class, mostly UA. And I was saying, wait. Deku wants to go to UA? And everyone starts laughing. You say that there's no way that Quirkless Loser can go to UA. Mostly you need a Quirk anyway. If he does, though, he might be become a useless support class person. So, well, Deku's not given the same mind. Because, well, he's a guy who doesn't give, really give a shit about anyone. So, well, after class is over, his mostly Bakugo's goons mostly push Deku over and he spills all his stuff out of his book bag. So he has to replace all. So, well, he gets out of school. And, well, he starts walking. Through that tunnel. And, well... He mostly sees a figure. Mostly it looks like him. But mostly, well, if I just say... Let me try to find an image of her. Mostly black white virus. It's mostly a person with this type of armor. But mostly the exact same size of Deku. Mostly Deku sees that and says, Who the heck are you? And, well, she immediately runs after Deku. Deku starts running. But, well, she already catches up to Deku and grabs him. Mostly, Deku's trying to get away from her, but mostly, she mostly infects Deku with the Black Light virus. So, well, Deku's unconscious. When he wakes up, it's mostly at night. And, well, he sees how fucking big his arm is, though. Mostly, it's like this. And, well, he's saying, wait, what the fuck happened to my arm? And, well, the person with the virus immediately sees, mostly, it's all for one star. It says that, okay, let's see, I already read your mice. Your name is Zuka Midoriya, but mostly your bully calls you Deku. Let me call you that, okay? So, Deku says, what the hell did you just do to me? It says that, well, remember that virus was going around, though? And it says, yeah. It says that I am the last wielder of the virus. I mean, Deku, we're both Deku and the virus. And she explains that, well, you can see it's night. So, well, they must have put a 
mostly your mom must be thinking that you're training super hard. So well, I bet she wouldn't be calling the cops though. Cause you must be training so hard that you're staying those stuff. Harry send a message to your phone that you'll be training for the eleven months to get into UA. And she just said, Okay, just be safe. So that I can do where the fuck it went to you for eleven months. So yeah. So what Deck is says that there's no way no way in hell you're doing anything to me and he starts trying to run. He mostly is way faster, but that claw is slowing him down a little bit. Immediately off one Zara sees this and she starts smiling. So well she starts chasing after Deku. Mostly he's doing some parkour, she's doing the exact same thing. He jumps down through between the alleyway and uses his claw to like slide down it. And he starts running. Still, and what well, off one star stops him and says that if you try to mostly do anything, I'll just un knock you out though. So up well, she lets Deku go. He says that you turn me into a monster and say that mostly you're technically a living virus. And saying that well if you what is your quirk exactly? Wait, I forgot, you don't have a quirk. And well Deku says Great. It's been a long time people continuously call me a quirkless loser. And he gets really mad. So he tries to attack her, but mostly she has way control over her virus, so she stops Deku by mostly mostly turning his hand back to normal. And he mostly punches her armor. It really hurt though. And he says, Fuck, what the hell is that stuff made of? And says that well the stuff that your claw was made of, you idiot. So well she says that well try to do that again, and next time I'll just turn you into a mindless beast and you'll be under my control. So well she says that, well, you have two options. You go back to your home, I will kill your mom. If you stay here, and mostly, well, don't go back to your family, your mom will be stay alive. Get it, kid? You got it? And, well, Deku says, fine. So this technically has to be a loner for 11 months or longer. And she says that, don't try to do any sneaky business. I mean, mostly... I have a little spawn things over there that are watching your house 24-7. So don't even think about trying to pass it, because if you do, I have bombs in there. Really going to explode and kill your mom. So Deku understands. So she merely used her little black light virus to create wings. And says, oh yeah, I forgot. I'll be coming after you in a few weeks. So, well, she merely turns Deku's virus back on, though. So now he has that big claw on him. So he's thinking that she gets some new clothes. So, well, he starts looking around town though and stuff, and he's, he mostly robs a little place. Mostly now he has a little costume like, well, this. So yeah. Mostly he had to rip part of the t-shirt here because he couldn't really put our arm in there. So yeah. He starts mostly, after he's done robbing that place, the cops do come by. But mostly, he got out of there faster, so the cops could not find him. He uses his claw to mostly climb up a uh, building, though, and he starts seeing there. And he says, shit. So I have a virus thing. A girl's gonna kill my mom if I go back to my house. And she, I just robbed some. I just robbed a, a store. By the way, guys, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I do not know that much about the black light virus and stuff. I only took off Cure Show, no offense, Cure Show. You are a great wife channel, and I am inspiring to be like you and not trying to rip off your content. But I think you inspired this what if, actually. Just saying. So, yeah. Let's continue on. So, well. This is C. So, he's on the building just thinking about all this shit. And he says that great. So, here's two people in the alleyway. Mostly, they're robbing this young lady. He immediately sees this, and Deku's really hungry though, and he sees mostly, he's mostly in a frenzy state, mostly he's gonna kill anybody he sees. All for one's daughter is mostly still watching, she uses one of her abilities, mostly using her ability to cloak herself, so she's watching Deku always. So she's walking, watching Deku kill these two robbers and mostly absorb all three of them. Deku starts smiling now before he sees what he just did, and he says, Shit, why the fuck did I just do that? And, well, mostly, all of one's artist is still clunked, and she just says that, Well, you're just hungry. 
And well, Jackie says, who the hell was that? And says that it's me, you idiot. You can just call me Elizabeth Green for a while. And he says, okay, Elizabeth Green. I'm just gonna call you Green. Is that okay? And she says, fine. Okay, Green. What the hell was that? And saying that, well, you're going to have to fight off your hunger. Mostly, when you get really hungry, you're going to mostly attack anything you want to, well, get biomass. You'll die if you don't technically get that stuff. And mostly biomass is mostly human. So, yeah. And by the way, I can read your mind and do whatever I want with your body. So don't think of trying to double-cross me trying to go to your home. Remember, I will kill your mom. And I will kill you, mostly everyone you love. So she still is watching Deku. And saying that, well... I'll allow you to do whatever you want anyway. Just don't go back to your house or I will kill you, remember. And your mom. So, well, Deku is thinking where the fuck should he sleep at. So, well, his hunger is quenched up, but he gets all these memories from the three people he just killed. The two robbers and this young ch lady. And, well, he sees all their memories. And, well, he says, head, what the fuck's happening? And, well, well, he just climbs up back on that building he was on, and he says, shit, I just need to sleep. And, well, maybe this thing will go away anyway. It might be a bad dream. And when Green says that, no, it's not a bad dream, you idiot. And, well, he says, wait, it isn't? And says that, remember, you're not a fucking dream, so don't think that, you idiot. I shouldn't really continue to call you idiot. You did just absorb three people. I'll just call you sweetheart for a while. Deku says, don't call me that. And he says, what, sweetheart? And he says, great. So let's check see. I have a psychopathic girl that's trying to mostly affect me with this stupid virus. Let's check see. I just killed three people. And she explains that most of you did kill them. You technically absorbed them. It says the exact same thing. And she says, really not. But you can just call it whatever you want. And mostly this crazy bitch over here thinking that she can just call me wherever she wants. And, well, mostly Green says, well, don't call me a crazy bitch. And he says, oh, you can call me sweetheart, but you, I can't call you crazy bitch. And he says that, remember, I have control of your body. I can just appear anywhere I want because I have a few quirks. And, well, I'm going to say this right now. You might have never heard of this person, but he's called Off One. He has the ability to take and steal quirks. Deku thinks she's lying. And, well, he explains... She's not. I am actually the daughter of all four. And, well, mostly sweetheart. You're really, well, technically my test subject. Check see how this mostly my custom virus works. I didn't give you the standard virus that would just turn you into a zombie. I gave you the mutated, mostly the evolved version of it. And mostly I want to see how will you last for these few weeks or months. And see what will happen. And by the way, if you need any help, just say my name, Green. So, well, Deku says thanks. So she says no mention it. So, well, she's still watching Deku, we'll see the camouflage thing. So, well, he says, wait, Green, and she says, what exactly? What is it? And, well, he explains how the fuck do I supposed to turn my arm normal? And he, she says that, well, just think of your arm normal. So it does, and it finally goes back to normal, so it's finally. So if he finally puts the full jacket on. And she says that you actually look really cute with that jacket. And saying, wait, how the hell can you know that? And say that hive mind, remember? I can mostly see wherever you see, and I have a few spawns around here watching you. And watching our people. Mostly these spawn things, mostly are security cameras. I mostly can watch everybody across this entire city. Mostly, there's no place in this entire island I can't find you. So, yeah. <sighs> so, up. Well, Deku says, okay then. So, up. Well, he starts mostly wandering the streets. She is watching him, though, still. She starts smiling, and, well, because he's doing really good and other stuff. 
because she mostly wants Deku as, well, technically a Nomu. But she wants to actually see how he does first. Because mostly she's playing a little test on him. She'll be sending more people after Deku. He'll be mostly killing them, absorbing them, and getting more powerful. So, well, she calls somebody to say that's okay. He, she calls Kir Shigaraki and tells him to mostly open a war. Mostly tells Shigaraki to tell Kirigiri to open a war game at location. So he does. So she goes through. And, well, mostly Shigaraki's saying, Where the fuck have you been? Saying that, well, I found this random kid though on the streets and I infected with my virus. And, well, I actually been watching him for a few while. For a while, actually. And I want to see what would happen. Mostly, I made a custom virus of this stuff. He wouldn't turn to those crazy zombie gnomes we have, though. Mostly, I custom made it. Sometimes it works on humans while killing them or turning them to zombie gnomes. And, well, Shigaraki says, who is he exactly? Says that mostly his name is called Zuka Midoriya. And, well, I tricked this mom and mostly, well, saying that he's training for 11 months to get to UA. Shigaraki starts laughing and saying that that actually worked. And she says, yeah, his mom's really gullible anyway. And mostly, all for his daughter, mostly I'm just gonna call her Green. So Green says that, well, he was, well, difficult to mostly do. It says how exactly. Saying that, well... He, I threatened him, saying that if he went back to his house at all, I would kill his mom. And kill him. He just scrapped the entire experiment. And, well, mostly Shigarunk says, jeez. Says that you wouldn't do the exact same thing anyway. He says, yeah, but, like, not that magnitude. And says that, well, do we have, well, let's see. I will be actually sending people after him anyway. And Shigaraki asks her why. Saying that, well, if I get to send more people after him, technically he'll get stronger. And the more people exhort, the more strain that puts on his body. And his mental health. Mostly then I have enough strength to mostly... Mostly I control his body if I want to, but mostly I don't want to do that. I want to see what will happen. So, well, uh, Kirigiri says that, huh... So that's why your dad told you to do it. That's why your dad let you have to keep that virus stuff. And, well, she says, yeah. So, well, she just asks for mostly, um, asks for a drink. Because she's going back out. So, well, mostly Kirigiri gives her mostly a juice box. Or mostly, let's say juice. And she drinks it and tells Kirigiri that... Just open a warp gate on top of a building. I'll just be starting there. So, he does. So, well, uh, Shigaraki says that. So, you're just going to be following this kid for 11 months. And saying, yeah, I actually want to see what happened to him. I want to see if he does a mental breakdown or something. Shigaraki says if he does, record that. I actually want to see what will happen. Mostly, she says, I can't promise that. and stuff. So, well, she walks to that warp gate. The warp gate closes. And, well, she sees Deku mostly sleeping in the alleyway. And, well, mostly, she really does not want to see him like that. So, she immediately wakes up Deku. She's still in her armor form, and he says, Wait, that's you, Green, isn't it? And he says, Yes, it is. Saying that you're just sleeping on the street, son, saying, Yeah. Said that, well, people would think you're a little, well, not trying to be rude to homeless people, but mostly a dick to homeless people. And he says, fine, I'll just sleep on the building. And, well, he mostly gets his claws and starts climbing the wall. Green's immediately on top of the, the building already. And he says, wait, how the fuck do you get up there that fast? Saying that, well, if you want to know, Deku, or sweetheart... I'm going to be continuously calling you that, though. Mostly, I move way faster than you, because I have absorbed more people. If I had to say, I think I'm around the 200 to 300 absorbed people. Mostly, I only absorb criminals, because the criminals are way easier to find. And stuff. So, well, she just says that mostly, I'll be 
not sending people after you, but mostly I'll be checking on you once or twice. So Deku's sleeping on the building. When he wakes up, mostly Green's there just saying that finally you're awake. And well, he says, wait, what the, were you just watching me while I was sleeping? And well, she says, yes, I was. And well, she can tell Deku was hungry. And says that I think you might need to feed on people. And he says that, yeah, I'm not going to eat anyone. And she reminds Deku that, well, you technically do need to eat or you'll die. And he says that there's, is there any other, other way to say that, well, technically you could eat food, but that wouldn't give you that much hunger. Most you'll be scarfing down people who think you're like a, a weird person. And Deku says, yeah, that would be weird. Says that the only way you could technically eat is two ways. Eat food or eat humans. And, well, Daku asks her, why the fuck does she continue calling people humans? Saying that, well, I just like pe giving people names, sweetheart. And, well, Daku says, are you a f do you actually like me or something? And she says, no, actually, I don't. If I did like you, I would immediately already got you, though, away from that school and mostly turn you into my... Mostly this state though already for most before you even started middle school. My dad was actually thinking of mostly kidnapping you anyway, but mostly I said no. I actually want to see what would happen to his life. And I would see how it shit though. And I bet you want revenge on Bakugo, don't you? Deku says mostly he does not because Bakugo is well going to become a hero like him, and she starts laughing. You say that do you. Do you not understand? The hero society needs to sell a lot of people with villainous quirks. Like mine. Decker is in a quirk is a virus, but they really wouldn't understand. And they were trying to cure it, or trying to weaponize me. Or mostly try to, well, send me to prison to weaponize me, or try to do some hypnotizing bullshit, though. And she explains to Deku that, well, let's check to see. She says to Deku that you can't technically go to UA because, well, you really can't because All Might, I already saw he reacted to a villainous quirk. And immediately they hear an explosion. And, well, mostly she says, come on, I want to see what will happen there, sweetheart. So, well, they start running on buildings doing parkour to check see what's happening. And they see Bakugo's getting attacked by the sledge and says that, isn't that your childhood bully? And, well, Deku says, yeah, that is. And, well, she starts smiling. And says that, jeez, he's fucked, is he? And he says that mostly, yeah. But mostly they're watching the villain, I mean, the heroes helping Bakugo. They actually got Bakugo out of there, but Bakugo mostly used the explosions to get out of the sludge one. The sludge one stares at them and says that, hey, you idiots, are you going to get those two villains up there? And, well, immediately Green says, we need to go now. So the heroes do stand there and say, that, hey, kids, get off that building. So they start running. So, well, Endeavor says, I'll go after them. So he uses his fire to get there. So they're doing parkour. Endeavor says, stop, you stupid, stupid kids. And he starts throwing fireballs at them. Deku says, that, why the fuck is this fire hurt even if it's not attacking me? Saying that, well, I can actually technically make you weaker to fire or stronger to fire. Yeah, I actually wanted to see what happens. I like experimenting with people, though. Just see how would what happen in this. So Deku says that, geez, you are fucked up. And it says that, remember, I can just kill you or something. So you might want to watch your words there, sweetheart. So yeah. So what they do mostly, she says, just mostly cover your eyes. Says why? Just do it. So he does. She uses a virus technique called virus flare. It mostly heats, mostly heats her body so much that mostly it blinds people for a while. So blind endeavor like the solar flare, and she just says, "Come on." So they start running. Endeavor's eyes are fucked up so badly that he says he calls Omi and says, "I lost them." And all my asks him how. He explains that, well, he, she, or it, mostly use her quirk, or its quirk, to mostly blind me for a while. 
All Might starts a little laughing a little bit, but he says that, well, just come back where, where this kid is. So Bakugo, we'll see, All Might explains to Bakugo that I'll give you my quirk. So he accepts, though. So yeah, let's get back to Deku and Green. As I actually met when called through the entire Minecraft TV series of Wild Call, um, her. So, well, immediately Deku says, what the hell do you did Endeavor, do to Endeavor anyway? She explains that mostly I did, well, a virus flare. And Deku asks, what the hell was that, exactly? And says that, well, I healed my body so much that, well, it creates like a little, mostly a dying star flare. And mostly a blind endeavor for a while. He should be mostly, his eyes should be adjusting around this time. So, well, they mostly see a few homeless people there. Mostly Green is hungry. And she says that, well, give me a second. And she exhorts some of these homeless people. Deku tries to stop her, but she says, remember, I can just kill your mom. So you stop me here from eating these homeless people, though. I'll kill your mom. So Deku allows her to do this relentlessly, because, well, he does not want his mom to die. You're going to say Deku's a pussy, but get this right. If you were in the exact same situation as Deku, would you allow her to kill all these homeless people or allow her, your mom to live? My case, though, it's on a 50-50 chance. Just saying. No, I'm saying it's a terrible thing, but if it was my grandma, then I'm saying some shit. Because my grandma actually, I actually, if you mostly have a like, not, my parents aren't neglectful, though. My mom's, I technically have a stepdad. It's weird, though. My stepdad doesn't really do that much, but he does stuff, though, and stuff. He's really nice. If I had to see my whole entire family, if I had to say it's toxicity, a 10 out of a fucking 10. A Lord Nuxnor out of a Lord Nuxnor. If I had to say all the fighting shit, eh, that dumbed down, though, since we moved. Um, who's the smartest in this entire family? Who you think, you fuckers? Me. So, yeah. Let's continue on. So, well, <sighs> she says, oh, those homeless people were actually delicious. Deku says that you really didn't have to eat them, didn't you? And says that I actually did, though. And there's one more homeless person left. And she tells Deku, we'll see, Green tells Deku to eat him and stuff. Deku says, why exactly? And say that, well, he can just tell the police that, well, somebody killed all his friends. And then it will be a strength for both of us. And the heroes will get involved. And I really do like eating people. So, well, she mostly says that just eat them, though. So Deku f just does it, though. He says sorry to the homeless man, though. And the homeless man says that you're mostly a monster. And stuff. And he flicks off mostly Green and Deku. And he says that... At least I died with no regrets. And I would say to this homeless man, badassery to you. Fucking badassery. The hell? Right. Uh, yeah, shit. So, yeah. I would do the exact same thing, just saying. Just saying. Just take the mill from yourself, no fucking regrets. So, if Deku gets this guy's memories. And, well, he asks his green that why the heck does he continue to gain these people's memories? She explains to him that, well, sweetheart, you're mostly the virus takes humans, and, well, you gain all their memories, their sorrow, greed, all the shit they have done through their entire life. And, well, technically, if you eat too much, you'll overload. And he's saying overload, and say that, well, when you overload, you technically do get stronger. It's when you eat too many people at once and your body cannot handle it, so it excretes a lot of needles all over your body. Mostly they target anything to absorb more, and then it doesn't spread, but mostly gets in in that area. So yeah. So Deku's mostly saying that shit. Let me do something, you guys.
Sorry for that, guys. Um, I had to help my grandma out for a second. So let's continue on. Shit. Let's continue on, by the way. So, well, yeah. So, shit. She says that, well, I she says to Deku that you might want to be writing this stuff down. Because I know how you like to write about quirks. And Deku says, how the hell? And she cuts him off and says, remember, hive mind. I can read your mind, but you can't read mine. I technically control your virus, how it works. I control how your body works. So Deku gets out of his book back and starts writing this stuff down. So he has actually, well, has an empty journal and he writes down black like virus users. Mostly he writes down her name, Green, and his name. And while well, he asks her, mostly he asks her some questions. She says that I'll answer your questions if I get to answer, if I get to mostly give you questions. And he says fine. So he asks her how many people have she killed. Mostly she said, says around the three hundreds to the two hundreds. So he writes that down. So she asks him a question. How many people how many people do you want to get revenge on? Deku says that that's none of your business. And well she said, remember, hive mind, technically I just don't even ask ask you these questions. I can just read your mind. So she does. And says so that, huh? You really wanna get revenge on You really do wanna get revenge on Bakugo, don't you? You had, like, the chance to kill him, Teclary. You could have killed him in front of everybody, the sled and everybody, and then you could have just got out of there, and that's it. But you didn't. Why exactly? Deku says I'm not like a monster like you. Just doesn't kill people out randomly. And she says that, well, Teclary, you both need to feed. And I say, now, Teclary can feed on you, but I don't already know how that taste feels. It's disgusting. And she explains that mostly I have to infect other people, but this mostly when I eat people that have them affected by my virus, it tastes a little bad. Mostly it tastes like rotten tuna. Or something. So Deku starts writing more stuff down. Though. She immediately sees how Deku's writing the stuff down and says that you write really fast though. And he says thanks. She says no. Uh, she says. Um, shit. Thanks. And she says, You're welcome, sweetheart. So I think we're going to end off here. Because I actually want to get some fucking cookies in my fucking room. Eat fucking cookies. Go to fucking sleep. Edit this video. Then post this video. My kidnapping one, part two. And my wife, Deku, had this. Mostly had the Black Plague virus. I actually hope you guys like this story. Because there will be a few more of these until they get the can of UA. Because, yeah. You guys will actually see what happens. By the way, you guys can comment down below. Which one's more disturbing? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? My favorite actually is number one. So yeah. By the way, this will become a transformation soon. Part two will be coming from this series. So yeah, let's continue. So this has been in the Shoutmaster. I will be might increasing my time limit to 40 minutes per episode. So the next episode of Black Light Virus will come after Wait, no. Actually, it'll be coming after... Anyone wants to end Dominus Rex, please comment down below. Okay? So, yeah. Let me delete that. That's a one minute thing. Alright, I think no. I will actually do this. So, the next video is going to actually be Blacklight Virus Part 2. So, yeah. Or I'll be working on our AMVs for something. By the way, guys, I will be making a second channel so I can post all my AMVs. So, yeah. All these AMVs will be on my second channel, too. I would actually put it in comment section. Mostly have to make one of those stuff. So yeah. This has been the Shout Mastering. Goodbye. Don't listen to some Kira's show. By the way guys. Subscribe to Kira's show. He did make this what if possible. Because I did not even know what Black Flag Virus was. Until he. Well. Made a what if. By the way Kira's show. You are the main man on the what if community. Good to you. If I had to say you're the king of what ifs. You're really good. Just saying. Um, good to you man. Continue on with your work. And goodbye guys. Hashtag Kira's